About 100 million people within Europe are older than 65, two-thirds of them being multimorbid, suffering from at least two chronic conditions. By 2050, the number of people above 65 is expected to rise significantly and with it the number of multimorbid people. Most of the 15 common chronic conditions older people are suffering from are treated with drugs. With multimorbidity, this leads to polypharmacy, which very often results in adverse drug reactions and other drug-related problems due to inappropriate prescribing. Inappropriate prescribing uh, refers to um, the prescribing of medicines that are uh, not appropriate for the condition in question, um, the prescribing of medicines for uh, uh, too long an interval, prescribing of medicines that are um, not taking into full account the, the patient's overall condition and the risk of adverse drug-drug and drug-disease interactions, but also the presence of potential prescribing omissions can have adverse consequences for older patients. The underuse of non-drug therapies is another problem. As there are no standardized guidelines on how and when to use non-drug therapies, they are underappreciated and underused in clinical practice. These non-drug therapies such as exercise, physiotherapy, nutritional therapy, speech therapy, sometimes are alternatives to drugs, but in many instances they are complementary to drugs. They allow to use lower uh, doses of drugs uh, and help to reduce the risk of adverse drug events. Since 2012, geriatricians with expertise in clinical pharmacology from six European academic centers, supported by software and data management companies, joined forces to develop a highly efficient software engine, Xanator, and test it in a clinical trial. Xanator is a, a specifically designed software to deploy prescribing optimization criteria, including stop and start criteria but they also deploy drug-drug and drug-disease interaction criteria. And for added value, we have um, recommendations on non-drug therapies. Senator works uh, by obtaining clinical information about the patient, about their diagnoses, the medications and doses of, of the various drugs that the patient is taking, uh, it combines this with the patient's laboratory and ECG information also and it will then uh, generate a, a specific report that is uh, specific to the patient and will advise the attending clinician as to which drugs are potentially inappropriate, which drugs might be useful but are not present in the patient's prescription and in addition will tell you which non-drug therapies would be beneficial in this particular patient. The Senator software has been designed and tested in six European countries, with translations to their local languages – Ireland, UK, Belgium, Italy, Spain and Iceland. Senator software, uh, we hope, would increase the knowledge of pharmacotherapy of different non-geriatric specialists that deal with older patients with multimorbidity and polypharmacy. We also hope that prescribing patterns will be safer and more tailored to the real needs of older patients. The hope is that uh, software engines like Senator uh, will be developed further so that they will help the prescriber to identify instances of inappropriate prescribing wherever they occur and also to help attending clinicians to identify non-drug therapies that could be just as beneficial, perhaps sometimes more beneficial, than drug therapy in multimorbid older patients. The potential benefits are significant, to say the least. In other words, reduced morbidity, reduced healthcare utilization, reduced uh, cost of medication in general, and also improved quality of life in an expanding older population throughout Europe.